need to start we need to start with the first skill which is which is do you remember what's the yeah, first yeah. skill the first yeah one. listening number one listening yes of course listening listening yeah. the listening skill is the most important skill to improve and it takes you to the next skills uh, easily uh, reading and then we have no after listening we have speaking we have speaking yeah. speaking yes speaking comes exactly after listening and number three we have okay. reading and the last one which is writing four, yes it's of course writing it's the last step the last step or the the, the last skill to practice okay let's talk about okay. every one of them uh, uh, the first one is listening uh, what do i listen to listen to movies listen to songs, listen to uh, uh, channels, YouTube channels for native speakers, uh, listen to the BBC World Service uh, News, uh, the, two, the, the two programs that I showed you today on YouTube. Uh, it shows uh, two programs for listening to English from native speakers. One is called the BBC World Service and the other is called the BBC Learning English. And as I, as I told you in the video, the BBC World Service, you just listen to the news and you get uh, ready to learn and use new words every day. But the BBC Learning English, it's a program which illustrates, which explains more and more uh, and concentrates on a specific information. For example, he takes one word from the news uh, for example, and he begins to illustrate it and to explain it more and more and to give examples and to use it in context and to, to, to make you imagine the word and just to have it stuck in your brain and you can use it then easily. Okay, so this is the first skill which is listening. This is how we listen to uh, Arabic when we are still young or still kids. We listen to our moms and our parents speaking to us in Arabic. We don't know anything about the Arabic rules or uh, the letters or how to say the letters or how to spell the word. We don't know anything about the, the grammar of Arabic, but we still, <coughs> when we listen to our parents, we just get it and we can repeat what they, what they say, right? Yeah, yeah. We can just repeat by listening. So that's why they come, they come uh, uh, after each other, listening and then comes speaking. Okay, so the, the okay. first step is to listen. Listen to native speakers as much as you can. Uh, while you are on your way to work, you can just listen to the BBC World Service, uh, World Service and you just, uh, as I told you in today's video, uh, even if you can't understand the meaning, uh, uh, the whole meaning or the main idea, you just get words. It depends on your level, of course. You, got, you just get words and you start thinking about them and you will find yourself using them easily in the future. Okay? Okay. <clears throat> so how do we practice speaking? We finished number one, which is listening. We can also do this with our kids, by the way. Let your kids listen to English, listen to uh, cartoons in English, listen to songs in English, listen to uh, channels that speak, that speaks English all the time or for native speakers who speak English all the time and you will feel you will see the difference in their level you will find them speaking in English even if you don't if you didn't teach them this expression before you will find them using um, new expressions even to you okay is that clear this is for listening this is number one is that clear? Okay, clear. That's right. okay. Yeah, yes. That's when right. we move on to the speaking skill, uh, speaking skills, as I told you, it's related to listening. When I listen as much as I listen, as much I, as I can speak very well. Uh, okay. Could you tell us YouTube useful to children? Okay, Yusra, inshallah. I'm going to write you. Uh, 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 the, the next skill is speaking. So, uh, when you listen, as much as you listen, as much as you speak, uh, you don't think. You will find words just coming out from you without thinking because you used to listen to them and it will be easy to use them. Okay, uh, is that enough? No, of course, no, not enough. 
uh, there, there are some books. I've looked for it a lot on my laptop, actually, but I didn't find it. But one day I'll find it and send it to you on the group. There are books which uh, takes uh, a topic, for example, and he asks you questions about this topics, about this topic. And you start uh, preparing your ideas. You start, uh, uh, you start thinking of the suitable answers that you may say or use in such a situation. And you start writing down notes <coughs> about your opinion. And then you start talking about it and you will find it easier and easier to speak as much as you practice. Is that clear? For example, uh, if he asked you about your opinion about uh, um, uh, about the tourism, the tourism, you want it to be uh, uh, friendly, friendly to, 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 to the environment? Do you want tourism to be uh, friendly to the environment or just to get money from tourism and so on? So sometimes these topics are new to our minds we didn't think about the answer or we didn't think about your opinion about the topic the topic before so when you start thinking about it you start writing you start uh, uh, taking notes or writing down small notes to talk about this will make it easier and easier so this is related to culture this is related to culture to your culture to your background to your information and to your knowledge okay so speaking needs more practice we have the everyday conversations, and that's what we've practiced in our course. Uh, 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 the everyday conversations to ask about the weather, the time, the clothes, uh, the jobs, uh, and so on. These are the everyday conversations and to learn expressions to use in your conversations. And we have also the topics which I'm talking about right now, the topics uh, uh, on which you can uh, talk or practice or think and give your own opinion or your own uh, your own point of view. This is for speaking. Is that clear? Yes, that's right. <coughs> when, when we come to reading, the reading skill, uh, as I did with you in the last uh, sessions, of course, we didn't start reading from the very beginning. Uh, we started listening, we started speaking, and that's why I'm telling you that the order is very important. It's very important to use the right order. Reading, I think we've faced it or seen it in unit, I think, six or seven, if I'm right. We started to read passages in units six and seven because reading is the third skill. When you read anything, when you read a book, when you read a text, when you read an essay, when you read a newspaper, whatever you read, don't focus on every single word you uh, read. Just try to understand the whole meaning or the, or the main idea. Uh, you, will, you, you will find um, the main idea the main idea, the most important thing is to get the main idea at the very beginning. When you read, just get the titles or the main idea or the most important part or uh, the purpose of the writer. Why did the writer wrote this uh, text or this essay or this paragraph or whatever? Don't focus on, on every single word at the very beginning. Uh, skim and scan the, the, the article or the text or whatever you're reading. And then you can uh, uh, answer the questions and then you can just go back and try to guess the meanings of the words as we did the last session, if I'm right. To guess the meaning, to think if it's a, a noun, a verb, an adjective or whatever, uh, and try to guess the meaning. When you look or search for the meaning, you can use an English English dictionary. If your uh, uh, level is good for that and you can do it, you can just look for the equivalent uh, words in English, not in Arabic. If you found it very difficult for you to understand the meaning, uh, keep it to the last step. Yeah, and first listen, uh, first, first learn uh, in English. Uh, search for equivalents for the word in English because this enhances your vocabulary too. When you, for example, when you, uh, uh, when you see the word uh, unique and you start searching, you can find that it equals or it's an equivalent for unusual. So now you know two words, not just one, right? Yeah. 
if at the end you can't understand you can you you didn't understand it like this you can now you can look for the definition the definition in english for example if i'm saying that uh, uh, the meaning of appliance appliance it's a device uh, search for the definition in english the definition uh, it's an uh, it's a device that is used at home it makes our life easier uh, it uses electricity and so on at the end if you didn't find or if if it was not easy for you to understand the meaning of the word uh, uh, in english you can now translate it but still don't write the translation don't write it don't put it in your mind just just understand it try just to understand it and then you will find yourself using it easily okay yeah, yeah. i think uh, teacher uh, cambridge uh, dictionary uh, the best way for me. yeah i, I like use it. it i really like it i use it a lot yeah. and it it yeah. gives you uh, even the, uh, the the pronunciation in the american american and the british yeah, yeah, and actually. british accent and whatever pronunciation you need uh, you yeah. listen to it in the american accent and in the the british accents so you don't get conf confused when you hear it in a different way from a different native speaker yeah okay this is for reading uh, uh, uh when we come to writing of course this is not a, a, a simple technique it needs a tutor or someone to correct your mistakes you need someone to teach you how to write but we start from the paragraph or we start from sentences with kids we start from sentences we we teach them how to write a sentence we teach them how to write a sentence easily uh, by knowing uh, uh, the order of the parts of a speech for example we tell them that in english we have to start with the subject the subject this means the person who, who is doing the action uh, for example i am teaching now i am teaching now so the subject here is i so i teach them the right order of the parts of a speech that i use in a sentence i is a subject and then we uh, use a verb sometimes an auxiliary verb and a main verb and then comes the complement or the object of the sentence so we start by learning <clears throat> the simple rules the simple right rules of writing a simple sentence okay this is this of course comes after i am good at writing words that i studied before so i i cannot write without being able to write the word correctly right That's why it's very important to, uh, um, to learn the words that we've studied together or that you've studied in any course by heart. You need to learn them by heart and you, you need to learn how to say them, how to pronounce them, how to write them correctly and how to use them in sentences. Okay. Okay. Sure. <clears throat> by writing a simple <clears throat> sentence. Uh, 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 for example, when you study a new word uh, or a vocabulary uh, from these uh, we studied together, you can just uh, use the word in your own sentence and you and write it in your notebook, in your own notebook. I know the, 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 the word is already used in a sentence in the textbook that we use, uh, but when you use it by yourself and write it by yourself in a sentence, you will never forget it again. It will be easy for you. This is better than translating into Arabic. So when you study new vocabulary, the first step to write well is to be good at writing the words, how to write the words correctly, how to have vocabulary and be able to write them correctly. Okay, then you learn the order or the, the, the correct order of the parts of a speech in a sentence. For example, as I told you, he studies English. He goes to school. He goes to school. So you should know that he is a subject. We start the sentence with the subject and then we use the verb, the main verb, and then we complete the sentence, the complement or the object. Uh, uh, you can also use she, for example, she is helping her mom. For example, here in this sentence, we have she, this is the subject of the sentence, and then we have an auxiliary verb that shows us the tense of the uh, sentence, and then we have the main verb, and then we complete the sentence, 
okay? Uh, uh, if I change it, this and said, is she helping her mom? Is she helping her mom? It became what in this case? In this case, it became what? It's not a sentence now, right? Yeah, question. It's a question. So this is the yeah. form of a question. Okay? We can start okay. the question with an auxiliary verb or we can start it with a question word. Where, when, what, whatever. This is for writing a sentence. Then we use these sentences to write a paragraph. The simplest thing to write is a paragraph. A paragraph uh, uh, of four, five, six sentences or whatever. When I write, I have to tell the, the listener or the reader of my paragraph uh, about what I'm writing about. Am I writing about uh, uh, electricity? Am I writing about uh, Kuwait in the past? Am I writing about uh, my opinion? Am I writing about the advantages and disadvantages of something or whatever? So I have to use a, an introduction, an introductory sentence, gumla muqaddima, to tell the reader or the, li the listener about what I am writing about. Then we use the supporting details. We use the supporting details. This means I start giving more specific information about the topic I'm, I'm talking about. Okay? Then we have an essay or an article. The article is uh, 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 from two paragraphs. We write two paragraphs. We leave a space and we write the first paragraph. We leave a line and then we write the second paragraph. So this is a complicated um, um, procedure and it needs a tutor, to be honest. Even me, uh, when I study for the IELTS or whatever, I, I, as I find a tutor for myself to correct my mistakes. Okay? This is for writing. So, uh, it's not enough to listen. It's not enough to speak. It's not enough to read. You need to study. You need to study. Because if I listened most of the time or, or all of the time, if I kept listening without studying, so sometimes I listen to words I don't understand their meanings and uh, I never face them or meet them in a book. So I need to have a book and to start studying in the way that I told you. Okay? Is that clear? Do you have any other question about this topic, Mr. Ahmed? Yes, you should start writing about, uh, for example, do you remember when I said that we have a homework to write about your our, uh, our dream homes? Yes. We can write now, in this level, we can write a paragraph of four or five sentences about a topic uh, I am used to, about a topic I studied the vocabulary of it. So, uh, for example, if I asked you now to describe uh, the apartment where you live, you can write about it, right? Yeah. So it's not enough to speak. Now you have to write. You have to ask yourself a question and write the answer of it. Okay? Yeah. Uh, let's see Yusra's question. Uh, YouTube useful to children? Yes, of course. Uh, uh, I'm going to continue and that will be the topic of the next video, inshallah, but it's okay. Let me write the names of the channels. There is a channel which is called Coco Melon. Uh, it's songs for kids uh, and it makes them uh, get used to listen to English and use it repeatedly it's very nice you'll uh, you'll like it uh, you have also there is a channel which is called omar and hannah uh, this is a kind of religious uh, channel so uh, it talks about uh, islamic religious uh, celebrations and so on and islamic um, behaviors it's very good for kids teaches them islamic behaviors and at the same time these they speak in english all the time Omar and Hannah, you will like it very much. I always uh, ask my kids to watch it. Uh, there is also Buster. These are all cartoons. The first one is songs. Uh, uh, this, the second one, uh, videos or uh, movies or stories. 
the third one, it's a bus, uh, if I'm right, it's a bus uh, that uh, has conversation with his friends. Uh, it's very nice, actually. Okay, these are three channels. Uh, they are very good. Any program progress conversation? Uh, what do you mean by this, Yusra? That corrects your conversation? Correct your conversation? Correct your speaking, you mean, right? Yusra? Yes, you mean a program that uh, corrects your pronunciation? Okay. Uh, usually, um, these are uh, paid programs, uh, and if they give uh, if they give you one level for free, you will not be able to move on to the next level uh, until you pay for the program. I actually had one on my phone, but unfortunately, I don't remember its name right now. But I'll find it and send it to you. But as I told you, it's not free. You have to pay for it. Uh, uh, when you finish the first level, uh, as I remember, when you finish the first level, they will ask you to pay to, uh, to go on. And I do not recommend these programs, actually, because um, they are still robotic. Robotic, yani they just use... They just use to guess what you're saying and to correct your pronunciation, but I don't recommend it actually. If you have a tutor or you, if you just um, used Cambly, there is Cambly. Cambly is also paid. You, you can talk to a native speaker. Cambly is a, a program or it's an uh, application. You can just uh, uh, talk to a native speaker, but uh, they speak generally. They start asking you general questions without any curriculum, but it's good. If you are good at English and you just want someone to correct your pronunciation, you can just go for it for it and see it. Okay. Okay, teacher, could, could I ask you about uh, uh, through uh, Ramadan months, uh, we, we need the tasks to, to do uh, uh, and the, in the end of the month, uh, after we meet, Yani, okay. God willing. Uh, are you sure? You didn't... Will, are you sure you will do it? <laughs> are you yes, sure? yes. Yani, مش عايزين اللغة تتساب يعني يعني لو لو يعني إحنا مثلاً الشهر كله حنسيبه كده ف يعني عشان إحنا كن كان الموضوع كونتينيوس كتير ف فالدنيا كانت أفضل يعني لو حنتساب كده فترة برضو ممكن إحنا يعني حاضر. يعني حتى لو تمرايز للستوري أو حاجة ممكن نقراها وحضرتك تسألينا فيها بعد كده whatever okay. يعني okay. إن شاء الله حاضر أنا كده ليكو في زمتي الكتاب بتاع ال... <تصفيق> بتاع اللي speaking اللي وعدتكم بيه إن شاء الله هلاقيه يعني هبحث عنه إن شاء الله I'll find it for sure يعني والحاجة التانية إن شاء الله هعمل لكم recommendations كده الحاجات إذا أنت حابة طبعا تدرسي في رمضان أبعدها لك إن شاء الله هبعتها على الجروب إن جنرال يعني واللي حابب يعمل براكتس ونرجع نتناقش فيها بعد كده إن شاء الله رب العالمين بإذن الله. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Do you have any other questions? Any other questions? لا. Yeah. Okay. Who's speaking? Or Shall we go and practice some conversation together? Okay. We still have, I don't know. We still have maybe 10 minutes. So let's revise quickly. But let's think first. Let's think. Tell me, what can you see in this picture? Type in the chat box, please. What can you see in this picture? Sama, a cat, Yusra said a cat, okay? Huh. Okay, Hadri Sama, Hadri. A cat, a black cat, 
Okay, just a cat. Can't you see anything else? Can't you see anything else? Just a cat? Can't you see a mouse in the middle? Yes, Sama, perfect. Uh, there is a mouse in the middle. This is the cat, this is the shape of a cat. And of course in the middle, this is the face of a mouse, right? Can you see it? Can you see it, the mouse? Yes, of course. Okay, the next picture, the next picture. What can you see in this picture? What can you see in this picture? Okay, Sama said a girl, woman, okay, and two horses, yes, perfect. Of course, there are two horses and there is a woman's face, a woman's face in the middle. And if you concentrated, you will find two horses facing each other, right? Yes, that's nice. The next, what can you see in this picture? What can you see in this picture? Yes, Sama said old people. Yes, an old man and an old woman, of course. Yes. Yes. Can you see anything else? Okay. Anything else? Okay. Yes. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. A girl in the man's ear. Perfect. So it's a picture. And here, can you see this man playing the guitar? Can you see this man playing the guitar? And a woman holding something on her head uh, on her head. Yes. Is it clear for you? Is it obvious? Yes. Perfect, Yusuf. Yes. Here we have conversation. Okay. Uh, when we meet someone for the first time, of course, we ask him, what's your name? I want to have these conversations with one of you. I want to have these conversations with one of you. Could you please raise your hands if you want to participate? Yes, Yusra. Yes, Yusra. Yes, teacher. What's your name? I know your name. My name is Yusra. <laughs> okay. Uh, how do you spell your last, your uh, first name, Yusra? How do you spell it? Y-O-U-S-S-R-A. Is it Y-O-U-S-R-A? Double S. Yeah, okay. So it's okay when you have a conversation with someone and you didn't hear the answer very well, it's very okay to say, sorry, sorry, could you repeat that again? It's okay to say this. Uh, uh, if you didn't hear the answer very well, you can just, uh, if he's speaking uh, so fast, you can just pause him and tell him, could you please speak a little slower? Could you speak a little slower, please, or whatever? But you can pause him and you can ask him whatever you want to ask. It's not a problem, as we think. Okay. Uh, what's your phone number? You can just tell us any number, Yusra. 01111. Okay. Is it 0111? Yes. Yes. Okay. So I'm right. What's your email address? Yuya at g gmail uh, dot com. Okay, how do you spell that? Y O U A at gmail. Okay. Dot com. Okay, thank you so much. That's perfect. Thank you, Yusra. Let's move on. Okay. What do we call this in English? 
Raise your hands, please. What do we call this in English? We've studied this word, I think, in the first or the second unit, if I'm right. Yes, Hafsa? Bag. A bag, okay. There is another word. Who remembers it? There is another word. How do you spell bag? Hafsa, how do you spell bag? Can you spell it for us? B A G. Perfect. Bag. Okay. Thank you, Hafsa. Uh, uh, okay. We've studied another word for this picture. Who remembers? Who remembers it? It starts with P. It starts with P. Do you remember it? That's why I'm telling you vocabulary are very important. Yes, Mr. Ahmed, do you remember this word? A suitcase? Um, this is not a suitcase. Uh, the suitcase is a bigger one and it's for papers or, or for laptops and so on. This is called a purse. Yeah. Purse. Do you remember this word? Purse. We've studied yeah. oh. purse. Purse. Okay. okay. Yeah. I wanted to ask you how to spell it, but I wrote it already. <laughs> okay. No problem. Nice. Let's move on. Uh, we have... Uh, what are these, Mr. Ahmed? What are these? Uh, glasses. Okay. Or sunglasses. Oh, uh, black uh, sunglasses. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Oh, black sunglasses. Okay. Could you please give me the full answer? Yeah, I, I see. <clears throat> okay. I, I, I see uh, black uh, sunglasses. I asked, what are these? Uh, this is this is uh, uh, a black uh, sunglasses. That's why I asked you to give me the full answer. Do we say this is? This is. Uh, uh, they uh, are. Yeah, they are because. Yes. Uh, 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 yeah, yeah, they are yeah, because, because uh, two, not one. Yeah, plural. yeah. Yes, they are. It's a plural, yeah, plural noun, yeah, so we actually. say they are sunglasses. Yeah, two, two parts. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. How do you spell that? Do you know how to spell that? Yeah, it's uh, S U N G L A S S. Yes, E S at the end. Yes, perfect. Yes, yeah. Thank you so much. Yes, who wants to Somebody practice to with us? Who wants to practice? Who wants to practice? I have to stop this. Yes, we have here a picture and I want to ask you some questions to tell me the prepositions of place. Are you ready, Habiba? Hello? Yes. Hello, Habiba. I want to ask you about the cat. Where is the true. cat? It, it is on the sofa. Okay, can you see any dogs in this picture? Yeah. Where are they? Um, they are under the table. Perfect. The, the table. Very nice. Uh, can you see toys? Oh, uh, yes. Okay, where are they? They are um, on the box. On or in? <laughs> in the box. In? Yeah, the box is opened and they are in the box. If the box was closed, and uh, in this case, we can say on the box, but it's opened and they are inside the box, right? Yeah, right. Okay, that's good. Thank you so much, Habiba. Uh, who else wants to practice? Raise your hands, please. Who else? Yes, Mr. Ahmed. Can you see um, a guitar? Can you see a guitar? Uh, yes. Where is it? <coughs> I, uh, uh, behind the uh, uh, pajoya. The lamp, okay. It's next yeah. to the lamp, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yes. Okay, that's really so nice. And I think we're running out of time, guys. <laughs> okay, so okay. that's enough for today. Thank you so much and inshallah. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
علينا وعليكم يا رب ربنا يحفظكم جميعا اجمعين يا رب ان شاء الله نلقاك على خير ان شاء الله جود باي افري وان ثانك يو جود باي تشكرا باي 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 افري وان